Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Crimo here on FC24 where it's a season finale to see whether or not we go ahead and get relegated back to the championship or if we can survive Premier League football and stay in here for at least another season. We are currently sitting 18th. We have a game in hand against absolutely nothing. In fact, Leicester have a game in hand against us. They can extend that zero point gap to three. Brentford are two points ahead of us. Level with games. It's not looking good, especially as you can tell. Our next three games are against the three of the big six. Man United, Tottenham, and Manchester City. But then we do play Nottingham Forest. We play Leicester City. We play Fulham. We play Brighton or Brentford. We play three relegation teams and plus Nottingham Forest. In fact, where is Nottingham Forest at in the league? Nottingham Forest is sitting 10th in the league. We are just going to go ahead and simulate past these three games, get to the Nottingham Forest game, and play all four games there. We lose to Manchester United only 2-0. We lose to Tottenham 4-0. And we lose to Manchester City 5-1. Oh, my Lord. And Leon's is going to move from a striker to a right mid, and he's going to go from a 62 to a 71 overall, which is honestly perfect. But he's still our current backup striker at the moment. I can't lie. So that's going to be weird to, for him to be. And after those three losses, we now sit pretty much rock solid in 18th. Leicester City have a game in hand four points ahead of us. Brentford are seven points ahead of us. We quite literally have to win all four games and hope Brentford at least drop two plus our game. And we have to play Nottingham Forest, who is currently ninth. Winning the league is Manchester United currently, but Chelsea do have a game in hand, so they could retake that point. Arsenal are sitting on the outside skirts of it. Doesn't look like they might get into that title race. It might just be a two-horse race at the end there between Chelsea and United. But we can't really focus on that. We have to focus on trying to get back up into that 17th, 16th position and surviving relegation. Must win game all. Four games left to go this season. We have to pick up all 12 points or we are more than likely being relegated back to the championship after getting promoted. I mean, we scraped the promotion last season, that's for sure. So maybe it's deserving here. As Richie gets taken out early here. Martins to Ruiz, back to Martins. Now into Richie. Richie turns, fake shot. Richie on his left foot, always going wide. Guzman, Watts, Martins, Kadea quickly into Richie, quickly into Vadella, and Vadella is in behind, and it's Vadella to take the lead. He does. 1 0 for Wakefield against Force here. Alenga now. Alenga on the ball. Alenga into O'Brien. O'Brien has opening, and O'Brien has a leveler. It's 1 1 here. Alenga, Yodebe coming out. Yodebe actually did good there. Fidelo will look to clear it in for Kadea. Kadea will lose the ball. Now O'Brien, Ruiz trying to slide tackle that into Alenga, into Camelo, and it's 2 1 for Forrest. Watts wins the ball back. Watts into Fidelo. Vadella now into Richie. Richie turns off his defender. And Richie, can he get the shot off? He can. And Richie level things up here. It's 2 2. Kadea into Rafael Ramos. Rafael Ramos. Rafael Ramos. Rafael gives us the lead. Wakefield up 3 2. Yodabe. Not Yodabe, that's Sykes. He'll find Rafael. Rafael now just trying to go. He's going to cut back inside. He's going to try and switch the field to Jacobson. Jacobson controls it into Crespo's path, though. Unfortunately, can he win the ball back from Uman de Belle? No. Gomez now. Martinelli. Guzman blocks that off. Martin upfield for Ramos. Ramos has acceleration. Not necessarily pace, but he doesn't need the pace. Rafael Ramos. That's beautiful footwork from Wakefield. Beautiful play from Wakefield. 4-2 lead here against Forrest. And that might be enough to get the win. Crespo. Crespo, Camelo, Watts defends that beautifully. Alves is going to boot it up the field, and that's going to be game over. A 4-2 win over Nottingham Forest. 
one win out of the four that we need to end the season on a good note and trying to keep us alive. But it's not really in our hands at the moment. It's in the other hands of Brentford and even Leicester as they haven't played yet. We are four points behind Brentford. We are one point behind Leicester who have a game in hand. We have to take on Leicester now. Manchester City are playing Brentford. That is big for us. They should lose that game. Did Brentford lose then? Did Brentford lose? Cause weren't we six points ahead of them? Where is Brentford? Brent, 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 Brentford, Brentford. When do we play? 94 is 4 2 on 28th of April. Brentford, Brentford. They lost to Tottenham. That is big there. Leicester City, did they play? They lost to Brighton. So they're actually dropping points. Here we go. Time to take on Leicester City. A much, 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 much needed win game. Must win game as well as we go into the press conference. Thank you all for joining. We're now ready for questions. Leicester City versus Wakefield. Must win game. Correa on the starting striker position. Ponce is back from injury. He's sitting on the bench. He's not fully fit though. So I have to keep an eye on him. Jacobson trying to get an early start quickly. We got to shut down Leicester City. We win against Leicester City. We have a chance. It should be an automatic win against Fulham in all honesty. I'm banking on the fact that Brentford are going to lose to um, Manchester City as well because they kind of have to. Ramos. Ramos into Richie. Richie over the top. Not to Videla. I wanted that to Correa. Matinovic crossed in. Mavididi 1 0 for Leicester. Richie. Richie into Correa. Correa! Quick equalizer off the kickoff. It's 1 1. Have that, you foxes. Corner for Leicester. Short to Dwell Nevers into the box. Should be easy. Yerdebe actually got blocked off by Martins, who tried to head it clear. It's going to lead to a bigger problem. Never mind, as Yerdebe able to claim it. Dwell Nevers. Dwell Nevers crossed in. Justin Yerdebe with the save. We got to go. We got to go. Jacobson now on the ball in towards Ponce. Ponce into Richie. Richie will lay it off for Ramos. Rafael Ramos touch away from the defender. Rafael Ramos sweated across for Ponce. He's back in the team. Back scoring and pouring goals. 2-1 up against Leicester City. Matinovic. Matinovic. Justin on the ball. Just hold on to his lead, please. Justin gets past Sykes. Now Chacon. Chacon against Guzman. Back to Justin, back to Chacon, crossed in, Matinovic, saved by Yerbe. The keeper surely coming up, he is up. Clear this ball. Clear this ball. Clear this ball, clear the ball, Matinovic saved. Can he get to the second ball, Yerbe? Yes, we win, 2-1. Wakefield beat Leicester City. Nearly just gave away that win at the end right there. 2-1 win against Leicester City, and Simon Hoffman can finally breathe just that little bit longer. We now face off against Fulham, who's bottom of the table. We're out of the relegation race. We're out, not the race, but we're out of the zone for the moment. Leicester City bottle it again. They, who did they lose to after us? They drew to Bournemouth. They drew to Bournemouth. They drew to flipping Bournemouth. Brentford drew to Brighton. So it might be Leicester going down instead. We have to beat Fulham here. We're going to go ahead and watch through it, though. We're not actually going to play it. Ponce back in the starting 11. We're going to watch through it. We'll jump in if need be. And here comes Fulham. And Rodrigo Munez takes the lead for Fulham. They're up front here. It's 1-0 with 42 minutes gone by. Guzman blocks it off. He'll find Ponce. Ponce into Martins. Martin's over the top for Jacobson. He should be able to outpace the defender here. Jacobson, he's actually going to get cut up pretty well here. He's going to cut back. He's going to find Richie. Richie's going to find Fidella. And Fidella's in behind. And look how easy that is, AI. Look how easy that is, computer. It's 1-1 now. And Fidella turns things around here. It's 1-1. And as soon as I do that for him, take the lead. It's 2-1. We do lose 2-1 to Fulham. 
the most winnable game of the day, we lose it. We're gonna have to beat Brentford. Did Brentford lose against Man State? That's all I'm banking on. That's why I didn't jump back in. I'm banking on that Brentford actually lost to Manchester City, and it's looking like they did. I need Leicester City to. I need Leicester to lose to Liverpool. Did they lose to City? Did they lose to City? Did they lose to City? Did they play City? They had to play City, right? They did. Where's the City game at then? What, what team am I looking for? Brentford? They drew against Brighton. Did they really play Man City? They lost to Man City. Okay, so we are, that already happened. So last game of the season against Brentford. Did Leicester City lose that game? They did. We just need a win. Who's Leicester City playing on final game day? Leicester City final game day. They're playing Liverpool. Wow. Wow. Odds on that Liverpool actually beat Leicester City. That's my. I'm giving that as odds on. Chelsea are looking like they're going to win the league. Unless they absolutely bottle it against Tottenham. So it actually could happen, to be honest. As Man United play Fulham. Arsenal are going to finish in the top four. So that's good for them. It's up to us, so we must win this game against Brentford to survive relegation. Let's get to it. The team is upset, but they won't be upset after these 90 minutes, surely. Jacobson into Ruiz. Ruiz. Ruiz cuts back to Videla. Videla into Richie. Takes the lead over Brentford. And Wakefield are currently safe. It's 1-0 for Wakefield. And at the moment, we're safe and we are Premier League continuing into next season. And it's the captain to get us there again. He's the one that sent us up to the Premier League. And he might be the one to keep us up in the Premier League again. Ramos heads it away to Vanella. Vanella now pawns on the counterattack. Can we find him? He just has to beat one defender. He does. It's Ponce versus the keeper to keep Wakefield alive. Come on. Wakefield is spending a second season in the Premier League. We survive relegation just 2-0 here against Brentford. Sites. Ramos. Ramos over the top for Ponce. Can't find him. I really hope Leicester actually win. I really do hope Leicester win. That'll make this one so much sweeter. Cause he, actually, even if Leicester win, I think Bradford could still go down. As Yodabe makes that save. And this should be game over. It will be game over. It's going to be at least a minimum 2-1 win. It's going to be 2-0. It's going to be 2-0 win here over Brentford. We are safe from Premier League relegation. The boys have done it. Simon Hoffman lives to see another day. Changes are going to have to be made next season. We need a better squad, but that actually has to come from the Youth Academy. It can't come from anywhere else, but Wakefield are currently safe. I really hope Leicester City win. That would love the Leicester City win. That would make this win so much sweeter, but the boys have done it. We are staying in the Premier League. Leicester City lose. So Leicester City are going down. So that win actually means absolutely nothing. It just means that we finish above Brentford. Going down is Watford, Fulham, and Leicester. Brentford survived by three points. We survived by four points. We nearly conceded 100 goals. 96 goals conceded. We have to fix that up next season. Chelsea win the Premier League by five points. United go ahead and get in second. Arsenal in third. Liverpool in fourth. Newcastle in fifth. The FA Cup winners are going to be either Sheffield United or Newcastle of all things. The Champions League final is PSG Inter. Top goal scorer this season was Ponce to fight being injured for three months. The last three months, he got top goal scorer with 17 goals. That's the problem right there. He went from 34 goals. Well, Lombardi went from 34 goals to Ponce to 17 in the Premier League. Richie had 13. Ramos had 11. Loan report for our players on loan. Gonzalez grew a plus four. Erdias grew a plus six. A plus one, I should say. Garcia a plus two. David Villa a plus two. Weston a plus eight. He might come in and be a big part next season. Figueroa a plus four. Fox a plus two. Fernandez a plus five. Rodriguez only a plus one. Santos a plus three. Diada a plus six. Jermaine a plus four. And Pedersen plus absolutely nothing. That's the end of the first season of Premier League Football. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.